It is Mike Ferry, and welcome to Mike Ferry TV. It is Monday, the 27th of June. Wow, it's almost done for half the year. Okay, um, my production team said, you can't keep the cup on the table. Sure, we're gonna give Starbucks some free advertising. What the heck, so here we go. Obviously, what we talk about, what we look at, what I discuss with you, what we're trying to accomplish, is to help you build the foundation of being a great listing agent. I, I, I don't understand why so many fight this. Now, yes, I understand that it is much easier to put a buyer in the car to drive them around, but it's more frustrating. It's not as profitable. It's not as good use of your time. So one of you submitted a question, so I'm gonna answer the question. Mike, are there any ways I can get more listing appointments? Well, well, yes, there's many things you can do. There's probably a 100. So what I wanna do in our short time today, this is a short message for this week's Mike Ferry TV, is look at eight things you can do starting today to get more listing appointments. No order of importance, just eight more things you can do. Write them down and then execute them. Put them into use. Here's number one. Be a lot more aggressive in your lead follow-up. Okay, how many times have you heard me say, they gave you their name on a piece of paper for a reason. They're interested in selling their home. Why are we not aggressively following up? But Mike, if I follow up and I'm real aggressive and I find out they don't want to sell, then I don't have a lead. Well, you don't have a lead now. Remember, you can't lose things you don't have. If you don't have a lead, you can't lose a lead. So therefore, be aggressive. See, what I want you to do is accept the mentality. Every seller wants an aggressive agent to handle the sale of their property. They don't want a mamby-pamby, laid back, easy going, you know, oh my gosh, I hope nobody's upset and offended. They wanna get their home sold and they need a real estate salesperson, you, to make that happen. How do we demonstrate that? You demonstrate it through aggressive lead follow-up. Now, if a seller lead says to you, gosh, you've called me three times in four days, you're getting a little aggressive. I wanna to demonstrate to you, Mr. Seller, exactly what I'm gonna do when you sign the contract. I'm gonna aggressively go out and work to find a buyer for your property. Number one way to get more appointments, aggressive lead follow-up. Number two, when you're prospecting, prospect for appointments, not leads. See, it's very common, well, Mike, I made 12 contacts today. So? My, Mike, I prospected for two hours today. So? Uh, Mike, you know, I, I, I think I'm okay. I got a couple good leads. So? Your job is to get appointments. The number one job of a real estate agent is to get appointments, why? Because we get you face to face, or as they say, belly to belly, with a potential seller, your chances have dramatically increased on taking a listing, getting it sold, and getting a paycheck. If you take the mentality here, that when you start your prospecting each day, you're prospecting for appointments, not leads, all of a sudden you're changing the dynamics of the whole process. Number three, spend more time working your database. Okay, you gotta spend more time on your database. Um, 35 to 38 to 40 percent of your total transactions annually. So let's say you're doing 30, okay? Nine to 10 should come out of your database. Those should be potential listings out of your database. Are you calling them four times a year? Are you having real conversations with them? Besides, hi, how are you? Are you mailing something that has value to them four times a year? See, the database, as I always say, is your personal gold mine. But see, if you're not gonna work your database, what's the purpose of having it? Number four, any given day, could be more, the day than, more days than one, that you don't have a valid listing appointment, say at 4.35, 5.30, 6 o'clock. On the way home, stop and knock on 10 doors in your own neighborhood. Get to know the people that live in your neighborhood. Why? Because you're a real estate sales professional. And they're gonna list eventually with somebody. And there's nothing that will make you feel worse. Driving around the corner to your street and seeing a sign of a competitor in the front yard of one of your neighbors, and you're gonna say to yourself, what were they thinking about? Why didn't they list with me? Because they don't think of you as a real estate professional. They think of you as a neighbor, as a friend maybe the father and mother of their kids' best friends. See, we've got to start getting to know the people that are closest to us better. 10 doors every day in your neighborhood when you don't have a valid appointment. Number five, 
Upgrade everything if you want to get more appointments. Upgrade your appearance, the words you use. Upgrade your voice. Upgrade the strength of the pre-listing package, any marketing material. Upgrade your ability to use the questions we want you to ask. Practice, rehearse, become a professional. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Number six, this is a hard one. Call every for sale by owner from today and go back six months. Call every expired listing from today and go back six months. Now, you're going to say, and I understand this, the market's hot. There aren't a lot of for sale by owners. Yes, but there still are some. And they're still going to list with somebody. There's not a lot of expires. There are still going to be a lot of expires, but you have to look for them. You have to talk to them. You have to be in conversation. Number seven, get agent referrals. Now, guys and gals, listen to me. Agent Bob in your office goes on a listing appointment, does not get the listing for whatever reason. Well, Agent Sue from a competitor shows up with that listing three days later. That cost Bob, you, I, and the company money. Here's what I want you to think about. Every time you go on a listing and you don't get the listing, sit down with another agent and refer that other agent to that seller. May not have been good chemistry, may not have been a right fit, may not have liked what you said, may not have been comfortable, maybe you weren't real happy with them. Agent referrals for listings are dynamite. Also, if you think about this, there are agents that come and go from your company. They come into the business, they get out of the business. Come into the business, get out of the business. Anybody that's left the company in the last six months to a year that you know, talk to them about getting referrals from them. And then I, I wrote down last, if you want to get more appointments, I don't know how much, or if at all, you prospect for listings. If, if you're watching Mike Ferry TV and you're not prospecting for listings, you're not watching Mike Ferry TV, okay? You're watching something else. And I don't know what you're watching, but you are rarely gonna have a message with me when we don't say the P word, which is prospect. You gotta spend time talking to people. So if you wanna prospect and you wanna get more listing appointments, I wrote down prospect one hour, two nights a week. 7 to 8, 7.30 to 8.30. It's summertime, it's lighter, more people are home, they're out in the yard, they're playing. In the wintertime, they're closed in and they're ready to you know, get out of the whole thing by 8.30 because it's dark. Summertime, it's light. Two nights a week, one hour prospect. Now, can you get one, two, three valid appointments between now and next week? I believe you can. You get one, two, three appointments, you're gonna get one, two, three listings from now to next week. You can do this. You gotta get the mindset to make it happen. You get the mindset to make it happen, it's gonna happen. Talk to you next week. Have a great week.